Hello YouTube. Um, I get home from work to the police, or excuse me, not work, hospital. See? Still got my bracelet on. Just had got out of the car to have the police here because the kids were throwing the football back and forth and it bumped the lady's car and she decided she's going to come out there and yell and scream like a five-year-old child. You know, even though I was going over there to apologize to her for the ball hitting the back of her car and to check to make sure there wasn't no damage with the back of her car. She's like, you ain't paying for a car. I was like, I understand I ain't paying for the car, but I'm sorry. I do believe, you know, common sense says that, you know, if my kids were to damage your car, I would be responsible and I would make sure that it got taken care of. You know, so that's considered being an adult. Yeah, that's part of responsibility. But, um... You know, she's acting a fool, so I go over there, and I pretty much cuss her out, yell at her, tell her how stupid she's acting, tell her to calm down, quit yelling at my kids, that kind of stuff and everything. She threatens to call the cops. I said, go ahead and call them. I don't care. I was like, because when the cops get here, they're going to tell you the same damn thing. Don't yell at other people's kids, because it ain't your place. You want to talk to somebody, talk to the parents. Okay? So this goes for all you adults out there that think you can yell at your neighbor's kids and stuff. Don't do it. It's not your place. You want to get on, get on to somebody, go talk to their parents. You know? Do it in a civilized what you know if somebody makes you mad talk to them civilized you know and that's how you get stuff taken care of when you come out there screaming and hollering like a banshee all you do is piss the other person off and they're gonna yell back okay and this lady we've had issues with here for a little while because she has her dog that she likes to talk tie out there uh, at nine ten o'clock at night and I pretty much told her, you know, you tie your dog out there nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night and everything on a weeknight when my kids got school, and your dog's sitting there barking. You're just gonna let it keep barking. I'm gonna make it stop barking. Okay, plain and simple. I mean, whether it means I have to go over there and cut the chain and let that motherfucker run loose all over the state, hey, whatever it takes. You're not gonna sit there and put your dog right beside my kid's window for it to bark. You're gonna quit biting me. We don't do that chewing stuff. Alright, and Lilith over here, she's trying to be part of the show. She's over here mad at me because I wouldn't let her in front of the camera, so she's <coughs> biting my hand. You see her, she's going to lick my face, and then she'll look right back at the camera. Eh, eh. No, you ain't doing the biting thing. There you go. Look right back at the camera, didn't you? Yeah, camera star. But see, when you have a dog, take care of it. You know, we got the one over here that's not being fed by the neighbor. So we just told the police about it, and the police were dealing with it, and while the police were still there, they made sure they took some food over there to him. Um, he'll probably get fed for the next few days, I don't care, because the fact that's all it'll be is a few days, and when the dog stops getting fed again, I'm calling them, and they're going to come take the dog from him, because you know, I'm not going to sit there and just keep watching a dog being neglected like that. Okay, and what it is is the guy was pissed off because the fact that the police got caught on him because he threw something at his wife and busted a window next to her head. And the police got called, and he just assumed it was us, but I literally had just pulled in from work or the hospital. So it wasn't us. We didn't call the police on him. I don't know who did. Don't really care who did. If you're throwing stuff at your wife, yeah, you should have the police called on you. It was her So, yeah. I mean, they can act all the fool they want to. The thing is, is if any of them... We had somebody a few weeks ago try to break in my house. So we upgraded the lock system on our door. We also have cameras around our house. That none of these people around here know about. I don't have to tell them. So, the thing is, if I catch any of them on my property, I've done been told by the police straight up that I can shoot them if I want to. Because they're trespassing on my property. I don't plan on shooting them, but I promise they won't come on my property a second time when I come out there pointing my gun at them. But I will not tolerate somebody yelling and screaming at my kids over something as simple as a football hitting the bottom side of their car. Okay? You want to talk to somebody, talk to me. Talk like a civilized human being. That's the end of it. I would have simply said, hey, I'm sorry, accidents happen. We didn't mean for the ball to hit the car. I'm already making them move to where it doesn't happen again. What more do you want? You're not going to scream and holler at my kids. It's not your responsibility. 
I'm just going to say it quite frankly. Somebody ever screams at my kids, you better watch out for the man that's coming behind those kids. Because I am the one. I'm the right person. You press my buttons, there's no telling what I might do to you. Okay? And I'm not trying to be an asshole or any of that kind of stuff, but I will protect my kids till death. So, y'all have a great day. This is Random Nation now.